This video demonstrates how to create a relational schema using ERD+. We will click on the New button and choose the Relational Schema option. We will start the relational schema by drawing a table. To draw a table, we click on the table box and then click on the drawing surface. Double-clicking the table opens the table dialog box. In the table dialog box, we will rename this table as Product, and using the Add Attribute button, we will add three columns, Product ID, Product Price, and Product Name. Column Product ID is a primary key column. Therefore, we will select the column product ID and then click on the primary key icon to mark it as a primary key. We can reposition the table on the drawing surface as we see fit. Next, we will create table customer with columns customer ID, customer name, and customer zip. Column Customer ID is a primary key column. Next, we will create table Sale Transaction with columns TID and TDate. Column TID is a primary key column. Foreign keys are not manually inserted into tables in ERD+. Instead, they are inserted using the Connect mode. We will switch to the Connect mode. We will add Foreign Key Customer ID to the table Sales Transaction by connecting from the table Customer to the table Sales Transaction. We will switch back to Select mode and create the final table in this relational schema table sold via. We will add the column number of items to the table sold via. We will then add the foreign keys in this table by switching to the connect mode and bringing in the foreign keys from tables product and sales transaction. The newly added foreign keys product ID and TID form the composite primary key of this table. Therefore, we will, using the Shift key, select the columns Product ID and TID and then click on the primary key icon to mark this combination of columns as a composite primary key. Once the relational schema is drawn, it can be saved by using the Save button. The image of the diagram can be exported using the Export button into a JPEG, PNG, or BMP file, and then used in applications such as Word or PowerPoint. This brief demo is now concluded.